Okay, I'll try to mix now the questions on the regional populisms in Central and Southeastern Europe and the Bulgarian-Romanian relations, uh, including the issue of Minchen Gen. Um, because, um, um, and also even the question which we just discussed. Uh, in my case, at least, I think relations with the neighbor could provide not so much and really not really money, but some kind of social capital or some kind of experience or knowledge which still empowers and which allows for the Bulgarian model of developing while you're standing at your place be followed. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think without this uh, element uh, of the neighbor the relations with the neighbor in my case, Maybe I would be one of those many people who constantly complain about things in Bulgaria, lack of resonance, lack of whatever. And I maybe I also complain sometimes, but I still I think I do it at a small scale because I have this source of energy, let's say, in the relations with Romania, and that works. But still, I I I think um, uh, how much this model of empowerment through opening to the neighbor is really viable or applicable for many Bulgarians, even in, from northern Bulgaria, which is an underdeveloped area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, one issue I see is that um, there is a large emphasis on national-centric thought or thinking about who we are or what are the interests we, which our countries have. In, this is in our media. Um, and... Uh, there is certain border of experience, if I may say. You may travel in Romania, uh, but you have this wall <laughs> of experience which prevents you from really uh, mixing or learning a lot from Romanians. You, they, they seem to be always um, keep at arm's length, as you said. Um, and uh, there is some mistrust, let's say. This is something which I think our countries and society still need to overcome. Uh, because uh, maybe too much um, energy has been lost in mutual domination or in rejection of plans or in too much emphasis is put on what doesn't work in the relations, etc. So I, I was just wondering, um, you mentioned the idea of a mini Schengen. Uh, in my point of view, uh, the mini Schengen is one exercise of opening to the neighbor, which can really empower because it uh, is based on trust, learning, understanding, having better standards, etc. But what is your take on the mini Schengen? What uh, what are the strong the strong sides of this idea, and what are the negative sides? Um. I think the strong sides um, relate to seeing the the resources and the assets which the, the two countries share. If, if we're talking about Romania and Bulgaria, uh, I mean we have the Danube representing the larger part of the the border between the two countries. Uh, at the moment, the the passageway between the two countries across the Danube are, are barely fit for purpose, uh, and I don't think the river is being exploited nearly enough as a, a route for the, the, the transfer of, of mass goods uh, or people, for that matter. Um, so I think uh, some sort of mini Schengen relationship would open our eyes to to local potential. Uh, we, 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 I used the word self-determination uh, earlier in our discussion. Um, I, I think we need somehow to learn what we can achieve together locally using local resources, lo local know-how, um, as opposed to allowing ourselves to be 
um, guided by bigger forces like the European Union uh, or, or the, 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 the central central powers in the European Union. We, we have to see what we can do for ourselves here in this region. Uh, we have to see what as a, a group on the periphery have to offer uh, so that we, so that Bulgaria, Romania, and perhaps some of its other partners can become something more than the sum of the individual parts. Uh, we need to see what industries and, and, and what and what we have in we have in common, what we have in common educationally. Um, we we have uh, as a as a group of countries need to start playing to our strengths rather than um, always focusing on our dependencies on on the European Union. And I don't think that exercise has, has ever really taken place uh, because we have tended to to to, to uh, work in opposition to each other, or perhaps we've, in a sense we've been competing as dependents on the European Union or the other great powers rather than collaborating and taking uh, and making a joint statement to the Euro European Union, Bulgaria and Romania talking together. As dependents, we, we, we compete as individual countries, uh, uh, as a collective, we are better disposed to actually uh, state our case and say, look, this is what we've got to offer the European Union. So I think there's a lot of potential in some sort of mini Schengen uh, situation in th this part of, of Europe. Uh, and I, I think if it's managed properly, it, it can open our eyes to, to what we can actually achieve as uh, a group of countries um, utilising our assets, our strengths, um, our natural resources, our people, bearing in mind that both countries have lost uh, because of the brain drain. A lot of our, our, our young and, and most gifted individuals have actually left Bulgaria and Romania. Perhaps if if the area was opened up to some in, in some sort of mini Schengen situation, a lot a lot of these uh, people who've gone gone overseas will actually come back, realizing that there is a there's greater scope for contributing something here in their own countries, rather than just sitting waiting and see see what the European Union offers us. Yes, let us um, uh, let let me clarify here that um, uh, Mini Schengen um, is an initiative which was um, announced by some member, some municipal councils in Bulgaria. They asked the parliaments of the two countries to abolish the border controls, and it was supported also by organizations uh, of branch organizations of the transport companies in the two countries. And also it seems to have some support among the members of the European Parliament with a question on this initiative being advanced by uh, the Romanian member of the European Parliament, Marian Jean Marinescu. And uh, um, to the, uh, it was advanced to the European Commission. And uh, as I understood from the answer, uh, it looks like uh, it is a decision which can be taken juridically if the countries decide but there is this criticism that um, uh, if the two countries make uh, this arrangement they in a way admit uh, that they won't be accepted soon in the large schengen and it is something like uh, uh, it is seen as some kind of a resignation or favor by some people that 
basically you, you accept that you remain in the periphery. This is the, the argument of those who are against the mini Schengen. But at the same time, there is this opinion that peripheries rarely cooperate. And uh, in fact, if the two countries start cooperating in such a way with their own drive, uh, they would have, um, they would demonstrate they are not a periphery. They have the thinking of a center. So I, I'm curious which uh, opinion is closer to yours on that issue, which um, of the two? Um, the one you finished with, I think if Romania and Bulgaria did cooperate this way economically and culturally, they're, they're demonstrating their joint capacity to be part of the bigger Schengen area. They're showing that despite their geographical um, position on the periphery of Europe, they're actually competent uh, to become a, a mini powerhouse <laughs> economically and um, culturally. I mean, I, I don't think they're ever going to create any sort of economic miracle to, uh, or, or to start competing with some of the, 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 the stronger economic powers in, in Central and Western Europe. But they can demonstrate that they are they are able to make, make um, worthwhile decisions about how to best make use of local resources, local competences, so that it, it benefits the, the, their own populations. Um, It maybe it maybe would would constitute a slight threat of, to um, Western corporate interests uh, if we were to be cynical and say and, and, and think in terms of the the Western powers wanting to keep both countries as they are. Uh, because it sustains their, their their economic weakness and dependence on countries like Germany, France, uh, Aust Austria, whatever. But I think that's a very cynical uh, position to adopt. There may be some truth in it, but I, but I don't think it, I think it's too extreme. I I, I think if anything, if if bo both countries could, could demonstrate greater greater the capacity on their own, it might actually uh, encourage inward investment on a different basis. So it's so so Western corporations would be more interested in cooperating uh, collaboratively and in partnership with Romanian and Bulgarian organisations instead of simply wanting to come in, uh, exploit local resources and extract profit. Maybe a mini Schengen situation would, be, would make Bulgaria and, and Romania more competent to keep a larger proportion of that profit in this, in, in this locality. So I think I think it could it, it simply could uh, boost their, their their bargaining position if you want to put it that way.